Hi lovelies, welcome to another episode of Let's Cook by Quinsley. Guys, today I'm sharing an amazing recipe with you, just like always. And we're not going to waste time, we're just going to get to it, okay guys? Um, we're making, it's a special kind of wrap. Um, it's folded in a different way, it's Mexican, it's just, it's Mexican. So guys, let's get to it without wasting time. So we have got our tortillas here. Our red tortillas, we've got our cream cheese right here. Cream cheese, we've got our cheese, we've got um, our veggies, the red, green, and um, orange bell pepper. We've got our onions all cut, we've got our minced meat. So we've got our salad and our minced seasoning as I have here in, in here. I have the black pepper, I have um, Paprika, which is bell pepper, granulated, everything here is granulated. We've got um, oregano, we've got basil, we've got chili, and um, Maggi cube. I, I as a, as a, like a powdered Maggi, just a little bit of it. So we are just going to turn on our heat immediately. So without wasting much of our time, and we're going to put in just a little bit of oil in this. Not so much, like I said, a little bit. Guys, you see, I'm cooking for the second time with my pot. My set is so amazing. So we're just gonna put in a little bit of oil, like I said. Not so much, guys. And first of all, we're gonna fry our onion. These are gonna pour in our garlic, just like I said. Frying garlic and onion together you've arrived at a very wonderful aroma and it's really it makes your meal really amazing the taste is everything guys so i'm just going to stir that together and then i'm going to put in my nice meat i'm not going to put it all guys so because i don't think i'll be needing all so i just brought out more than i needed so i'm just going to Mix that together and let's cook for 10 minutes, just 10 minutes. So before we let that happen, we're going to take our spices and just pour in as much as we need. So, so I'm just going to pour that and later I'm going to give it a taste. If I'm not satisfied, I'm going to change it. I'm going to add more, that's what I need, guys. So let's cover that up. Thank you, family of mine. You guys are amazing. Okay, guys, just let that cook for like 10, 5 to 10 minutes. Stay constantly. We have got to open that up. So, like I said, always stay constantly. It's very important. So, now we're going to add in our meat, bell pepper. And make sure you taste to see if you have the kind of taste you want to have. Feel free to add in some spices. More spices than I did, like some, um, like some, that's what you don't want to say, like a corn, if you want to put in some more vegetable, like corn, like you want to put in beans, you know, there's kidney, uh, kidney beans, any kind of stuff you want to add in, any kind of vegetable that suits you, or whatever you have in your house, please don't put it inside. So I'm going to let that cook for another three minutes. Besties are three minutes are over. So I'm gonna bring down the heat a little. Now I have, I have a mixture of flour and water here. This is to give it a moist texture. So I'm gonna put in like, I'm gonna put in gently and see if I like the consistent. If I don't, I'm gonna add in more. So now I'm gonna give that a mix. 
gently mix that in and I'm going to add in some more water. I've not added water before, so I'm going to add in some water. So, but we don't want it all liquid, okay? So we just want some really amazing consistent here, yeah, amazing one. So, now I don't like it, I'm going to add in a little bit more. So make sure you add everything you're using always beat by beat guys because it's easier to correct your mistake if you add it beat by beat but if you pour it all at once and then you realize oh you made a mistake then it's really very difficult so now i'm going to let that cook for another two minutes and the sauce will be done so guys this is all ready and good to go. I don't know how good you can see. I've got, um, I have to spoon some of this inside a plate because I don't want to go directly with a spoon inside. I don't want to spoil my new stuff, my new part. So I've got the tortilla. I'm just going to place it here. I hope it's, you can see it very well. So what we're going to do is as easy as it is right now, I'm going to spoon in some of our cream cheese in the middle, just a little bit of it. So we're going to take a little bit of salad and just put that here. And then put in some spoon of this goodness right here. So, I've got an ECSL guys, not the small type, so it's easy to fold. So now I'm going to put some of the cream cheese, one small, just a spoon of it. Right on top, I'm going to add in some cheese on that, so we're going to fold this. So if you can see that, so what we do is you fold like this, can you see that? So now, can you see that? So what I do is I'll take some of the cheese right here so I can hold it a little bit while I'm folding the other side. So now I'm going to do the same here. So you have to be careful and make sure the same. So I'm just going to take some cheese one more time and put it on top and then I just leave it. So this is it. So I'm going to repeat the steps for everything I made before we start to fry. So it's just as easy as I told you. So let me do one more. So you can really see it so we we'll take some cream cheese so if you don't want to use cream cheese you can use any other sauce of your choice salsa homemade salsa or ketchup or mayonnaise whatever you want to use you can add in some tomato as well some cucumber whatever you want to use guys feel free to add that there so i'm going to spoon in cream cheese on top just so we see what I'm doing because that's really what is important so another thing is you can put water all around it so it's easier for you so just make it like this turn it so you do it like this one more time so if you don't want to use cream cheese to hold it down you can just bend it immediately so when you start to fry it sticks together automatically so I hope you could see that yeah I've got some more information. While I'm late, my kids whispered to me that they want some fresh tomato, fresh cucumber, and fresh avocado in it. So guys, that's how it is when you have kids with so much wishes. So I just cut this up, I spice them with salt, black pepper, um, no blood garlic, and that's all. So guys, we're just going to do the avocado, fresh tomato version version i hope you are seeing that just like the first way we're gonna put in some of the salad put in tomato i put in cucumber i put in avocado and spoon in that right here so now i'm gonna take some of the cheese and put that right in just on top and I'm just going to wrap just like I wrapped the first time there's no difference it's just we added some more amazing stuff 
more heavy stuff in there. So we just wrap that together and voila, that's our second round. Fry, we're just gonna reduce that heat to number six. My heat had my um gas had a scale has a scala of 10. 10 is the highest. I'm gonna try with six. So we're just gonna put that in there and then put in the so how many can we fry? So our pan is just going to take about three. So we're going to fry this on a medium heat. So when we see the bag is golden, we flip over and you need to make this go hot. You need to take your time in frying. If you put it, um, the heat so high, it's going to get brown and it's going to get burnt without the cheese right inside melting. So we want that cheese to be melting, we want it much watery. Lovely, yeah, dinner is almost ready. So lovely, I did not make any sauce for this because we have all the amazing goodness right in this tortillas. So we don't need any other sauce. If you need, just get some homemade sa uh, salsa or you get some, uh, or you buy some salsa in the shop or any avocado sauce will do. So this is the remaining last two. That's it guys, check this out. Can you see that? Amazing. So, just gonna bring this out, turn off my heat, and set the time. So, like I said, you can use some avocado sauce, you can make avocado sauce by yourself, or you buy some Starbucks, salsa, or ketchup, or whatever you want. But we aren't using sauce, and we are also not eating any salad to this because. We do not need any salad. Um, it's enough already. Everybody's getting two, two of this, and that's enough. There's a lot of vitamin there, a lot of meat, veggies, and all that, guys. Please, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe, like, share, comment. I'll set and down. I'm just gonna bring it to very until check this out. So I'm gonna divide it in the middle so that you can see this amazing goodness, and I can't wait to dig in. Check it out. So, so let's just put that in the middle and see how it looks. So we're gonna cut different styles. Just do this. Oh, let's wait really to see this. Mm. Oh my days! Oh. You know, looking at it, whoa, this is succulent. Ooh. Come on. Don't leave me hanging. So, just going to. There's quite a lot of work to cut. But we're just going to cut that. This will be good, guys. Just going to bring that up to you. As usual, we're going to bring that up. You know, we like it clean. So. Now let's check this out. It's so caught in the middle. Can you see this? Oh, see the cheese? Can you see that? Now, uh, guys, wait, 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 wait. Oh, can you see this? With avocado, everything in its goodness, guys. Check this out. Oh, what am I doing? Can you see that? Oh, my God. Amazingly good. It's super good. I have to say this. You see it? Succulent, soft, yummy. Everything is inside. Everything that makes the heart melt. <laughs> so guys, I can't wait to dig in. You know, I need to dig in in the front. <laughs> this is Matt's watering. So close your eyes. Don't watch this. Yes. I have to leave you guys right now because I have to dig in, I have to eat. So, once again, thank you for viewing, thank you for watching. We have come to the end of this amazing episode of Let's Go Bye Weasley. So guys, it's dinner time. Feel free to make this for lunch or for dinner. We are eating this for dinner and with a glass of water or a glass of juice or whatever. So guys, Stay tuned and see you in our next episode of Let's Go Bye, Queensley. Bye, God bless you.